a rainy morning, everyone. To my very active professor, Ma'am Nerisa Marco Biatis, good morning po. And to my classmates, good morning. So today, I will report about factors influencing learning. So in this topic, we will understand what was the reason behind the learning difficulties of the student. So let's uh, define first the word learning. Learning is a permanent behavioral changes to experiences. So, sa madaling sabi, student learn based from their experience. So, learning also is an act of acquiring new skills, knowledge, information, and etc. So, pag sinabi natin learning, ito po ay isang process on how students gain new knowledge, uh, new information, and or how students master the new skills. So we have here seven factors that might influence learnings of an individual. We have intellectual factors, learning factors, physical factors, mental factors, emotional and social factors, teachers' personality, and environmental factors. So let's discuss it one at a time. Intellectual factors. The term intellectual refers to the individual mental level. So, ibig sabihin, student learn according to their level. May tinatawag tayong uh, high intelligence and low intelligence. Pag sinabi natin high intelligence, sila yung mga batang fast learner. Uh, they have or they has high IQ. So, they have the ability to learn quickly. While low intelligence naman po, sila naman yung mga batang slow learner. They are typically has below average intelligence. So a person of low intelligence can be referred to as a person lacking understanding, common sense, the comprehension of the thing, and ability to communicate properly. So ang low intelligence po pala ay meron siyang learning issues. Kumbaga, student tend to learn uh, slower. And sometimes, they are unable to retain what they have learned. Tama? They, are, they are unable to apply certain learnings or concepts in different situations uh, without help. So people with low intelligence uh, must uh, taught them directly. Kasi po, pag low intelligence yung bata, uh, they, uh, they are the student that find difficult to express themselves verbally. And sometimes they cannot articulate easily. Kaya, a uh, student uh, with low intelligence needs someone who can guide them towards their learning. So sometimes, people uh, do not learn because of special intellectual disabilities. So kapag naman po ang bata ay merong IB or intellectual disabilities, it is really hard for them to catch up with the lessons because limit lang po yung ability nila para matuto. So they, uh, yes, they can and do learn new skills, yet they learn more slower. Okay? So experts state that individuals uh, possess different kinds of intelligence. So Si Howard Gardner nagpo-post po ng multiple intelligence. So we have nine intelligence. So what are they? So first po yung intrapersonal. So kapag po intrapersonal yung bata, they have the ability to understand one's inner feelings and self-realization. Then kapag po uh, visual or spatial yung bata, uh, students excel in shape, design, graphics, and Visualization. How about you naturalistic? Kapag naturalistic yung bata, uh, student love uh, animals, student love plants, they also love nature and they love to understand natural world. How about musical? Sa musical, ang mga bata naman po, they are excel in performing and composing musical pieces. Uh, existentialist. Uh, students have the ability to ponder questions about life, death, and ultimate realities. 
sa logical naman po, uh, the student uh, excel in mathematics and logical thinking. Doon sila magaling sa math. So, how about interpersonal? Pag interpersonal po yung bata, uh, they have the ability to organize people, uh, group activities, and social relationships. And kapag kinesthetic naman po yung bata, bodily kinesthetic, ang mga bata ay excel in performing sports, physical activities, and body movements. And yung last is yung linguistic. Masasabi nating linguistic yung isang bata kapag they are they excel in word, language, poetry, and literature. So, let's proceed to the next factors, uh, which is learning factors. Factors owing to lack of mastery of what has been taught, for the methods of work or study, and narrowness of experimental background may affect the learning process of any future. So, diba, there are students that find difficult to master the lessons and somehow they are unable to retain what they have learned. Tama? Uh, they will, uh, kapag po ganun yung bata, ang, ang magiging result po is based on how students interpret and respond to their experience. So, like, for example, sa mathematics, uh, when, when the student cannot, uh, fully understand how to add numbers, we cannot uh, jump to the next lesson, which is subtraction. Bakit? Kasi dapat mamaste muna ng mga bata yung pag-a-add ng number bago tayo mag-proceed sa subtraction. So, kasi kung, kung mag-proceed tayo sa next lesson, tapos hindi naman ng bata na intindihan yung, yung pag-a-add, they struggling in adding numbers, Okay, mas mahihirapan sila sa subtraction. Kasi dapat bago tayo mag-proceed sa subtractions, alam ng bata how to add numbers. So as a teacher, let us help the student or teach them the simplest way uh, by, adding, uh, by adding numbers using their fingers or let them, come, let them count objects so para mas mabilis silang matututo. So... Another physic, another factors is about physical factors. Physical factors such as health, physical development, nutrition, visual and physical defects, and granular abnormality affects pupils' learning. It is generally recognized that ill health, retired physical and motor development. And malnutrition interfere with learning and physical growth. So, the but there are uh, a numbers of physical factors that can impede the learning process. So we are we ranging them from impairment to the senses of to the from impairment of the senses to basic nutrition that can affect or influence the student ability to learn effectively. Effectively. Uh, like for example, yung impaired vision. Kapag impaired vision po yung bata, uh, they have a problem in regarding with their vision. Such as pwede silang farsightedness, pwede namang yung bata is nearsightedness, or meron silang astigmatism. So that vision problems can lead to, learn, uh, to learning problems. So another example is yung impaired hearing. Kapag ang student ay may problema uh, sa pandinig, so they have uh, increased difficulties in learning in a classroom setting. So bakit? Because he may not be able to hear the teachers clearly. So ang tendency, mas uh, mahihirapan yung bata, maintindihan yung lesson. Kasi mas, kapag impaired sila, umaasa sila sa kanilang uh, mata. They learn more. Uh, visually. So, an another example is yung nutrition. So, di ba, uh, some of the students uh, come to school hungry. So, ang tendency po, he, uh, he may not be able to function to the best of his ability. So, kailangan uh, papasok yung bata na busog, may laman yan dyan, para, uh, because nakaka din ito sa 
pag-aaral ng bata. So, the last examples that I have is about fatigue. So, pag fatigue po, uh, it has also a negative impact on the brain. Uh, so, it has negative impacts on the brain's ability to learn. So, dapat student has had enough uh, sleep because it is also a crucial part of effective learning. So, next po is yung mental factors. Interest, attitude, and aptitudes are also important in the field of learning. So, they play a vital role in the mental and general behavior of an individual. So, these things are increased the rate of learning. So, a, a student must have attitude and interest to get desirable success in a given activity. The student, dapat, the student attitude is also important because it is about the mental state of readiness of the student to respond in the learning process. So if the student have the right attitude, uh, if the student have the right attitude but lack of required aptitude, uh, the learning and success of the student can be difficult to achieve. So. Kasi po, ang attitude defines how you work or proceed towards your goals. While aptitude naman po, it's about how potential you have uh, you have learned specific skills or gain knowledge that will help you to achieve your goals. So, both are essential in the learning success of the students. So, next po is yung emotional and social factors. So personal factors such as instinct and emotional emotions and social factors such as cooperation and rivalry are directly related to a complex psychology of motivation. So dito, things like social, social uh, factors and emotion can relate directly to the given motivations for learning. Kasi if students cooperate with others, they will learn faster. Uh, they will... Uh, they will feel motivated. So, they will feel motivated, excited, and at the same time, having fun and learning new things. So, di ba meron tayong two types of motivations? Uh, we have intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. So, kapag sinabi natin intrinsic motivation, is about how you do things. So, when you do it, because you like it. Uh, kumbaga, you do it uh, for the joy of doing. Well, yung intrins, extrinsic motivation naman, it's about what makes you do things. So, when you do it because you have to or some someone to some or something is making you do it. So, that, uh, the two types of motivations na pwede natin gamitin sa pagtuturo sa mga bata uh, that will catch their interest uh, and become motivated uh, to participate in the lesson. So, always remember that learning can be enhanced when the student has the opportunity to interact and collaborate with others on instructional tasks. So, another factor is yung teacher's personality. So, Hindi lang po student factors ang learning factors ang meron tayo. Meron din tayong teacher's personality. So, on teacher's personality, the teacher as an individual personality is an important element in the learning environment or in the failure or and success of the learners. So, on teacher's personality is also a factor that influence the learning of the student. If the teacher's passive uh, has a positive trait in his personality as being a passion, patient, cooperative, and attractive, uh, and authoritative, I mean, he or she will be access, uh, will be a successful teacher. And she could get his uh, student satisfaction. Pero kapag naman ang teacher is impatient and introvert, makaka-apekto ito sa learnings ng mga bata. And it will cause less interactions and agreement between the teachers and the student. So meaning, 
ang behavior at ang reaction of the teachers towards the students are the most uh, vital factors that might affect the learning progress of the student. So teachers' interactions with the personalities of the pupils being taught how to determine the kinds of behavior which emerge from the learning situation. So meaning teachers' behavior, uh, so meaning kumbaga, ang teachers' behavior uh, will reflect to his personality and his student behave according to the personalities of the teacher, syempre. Kung ang teachers, uh, if the teacher is strong, uh, if the teacher is strong, <coughs> excuse me, if the teacher is strong, they will respect him. Uh, if the teacher is weak, siyempre, anong gagawin sa iyo ng mga bata? Hindi ka re-respetohin. So, teachers' uh, personalities may affect the positivity and the negativity of the student. So, we as the teachers must considered as a role model for our student, right? So, the actions done by us as the teacher can have a great uh, impact to our student's behavior. So, pupils love a happy, systematic, enthusiastic, and triple teachers. So, syempre, yun yung mga gusto ng mga bata. So, dapat the teacher must have a good personality. So, be a happy, systematic, enthusiastic, and cheerful teacher because it tends to attract students' attention and feel at ease when attending the lectures. Kung baga, students enjoy the learning environment which is exciting and funny. So you must uh, provide suitable learning activities where they can learn by doing. And also you must know the student interest so that you can integrate it with the lessons. Uh, they will motivate you, uh, they, this will motivate your student. You must involve them in the learning process and it will increase the, their participation. And the last factors is about env environmental factors. So, sa environmental factors, one of the factors that affects the efficiency of learning is the condition in which, uh, efficiency of learning is the condition in which learning takes place. So, ang the class, yung school climate, yung facilities and resources within the school uh, have a huge influence in the student learning achievement, di ba? So, this includes yung classroom, yung textbook, yung equipments, yung school supplies, and other instructional materials. Uh, so, if the student have conducive learning, di ba pag mayroon tayong conducive learning, uh, which is safe and secure and, and the facilities and instructional materials are provided, uh, provided it will result to a positive uh, influence on the student academic performance. So, to end my discussion, uh, I believe that learning is not a product of teaching. This is the uh, this is the product of activity of learning. Siyempre, hindi lang tayo uh, about sa teachers. Kailangan a uh, student learn meaningfully. Uh, student learn effectively from you. Parang uh, you, they will learn uh, the relevant information and they will uh, retain from the in their mind because they enjoy uh, from the in the lessons. But that's all. But thank you.